Did you forget your tripod? Or maybe you just don't have one. Don't sweat it, because I'm about to show you some awesome tripod alternatives that can be found in the environment around you. So don't go away. Hi there, Barry Callister for Barry Callister Photography, giving you hints, tips and tricks for better nature photography. Welcome to my channel, I'm glad you found me. This is the place where I do gear reviews, camera tutorials, Lightroom and Photoshop tutorials and a whole lot more. So if you're new and you're just viewing me for the first time, why not consider subscribing so you can have me in your inbox once a week. Let's jump into this video on tripod alternatives. So when you're outside photographing and you either don't have a tripod or you left it at home, there are so many things in the environment around you that you can use to steady your camera. And the first one of which is my old mate, the tree. If you are wanting to take the shot holding your camera, you can stand up against the tree. Instead of standing on your own two legs, which as strong as they feel, they are quite wobbly and unsteady. But if you lean into a tree, it's a solid object it can hold you steady while you take your shot. Excellent. Now the next obvious choice, if you're not wanting to hold on to the camera, is look around you for a log like this one, or a tree stump, or a rock, or any semi-flat surface is gonna make a great tripod. So what you can do is set your camera for self-timer shooting, prop it up on the log, It's steady, it'll take the shot for you, and you can do it that way, or you can use a remote trigger if you've got one. And if you're doing it this way and you find that you're not getting the correct angle that you need for your shot, what you can use is a stick. Look around for a stick, a rock, your phone, your wallet, any solid object that can be propped up underneath your lens. Obviously, make sure it's secure. You don't want your, don't want your camera falling off there. It'll pop your camera up, that'll lift the angle of your shot and you can get your subject into your frame. Now a way that you can improve on this method of putting your camera on a stump or a log or a, a fence post or a picnic table or whatever you've found is by bringing one of these along with you. This is a wheat filled heat bag. You can make one out of a pillowcase and some rice or anything like that. I wouldn't recommend using a plastic bag because especially if you're filming video, the plastic might rattle in the wind and spoil your audio. So you pop that up on your stump first of all, then you put your camera in, it'll nestle down in there nice and sturdy and stay really steady when you take your shot. And you can also change your angle really easy with this too, as the, the rice or the wheat or whatever's in your bag will shift and you can change your camera angle. These work really well on the windowsill of your car too. If you're shooting out the window of your car, you can nestle your camera on them and hold it steady. Awesome. So there you have it. There's just a few ways that you can steady your camera when you're outside taking photos. You don't even need a tripod. So get creative with it. Look around in your environment. You're sure to find something that's gonna hold your camera steady to get that great shot. So make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave here so you don't miss any more videos from me. I'm Barry Callister for Barry Callister Photography. Get out there, take some wicked shots, and I'll see you soon. I suffer from dependency.